Hello Bits friends, in this video I want to show you how you can create this cubic right angle width pattern that you can use in so many different ways, you just have to use your imagination. This cubic right angle width pattern is composed by two rows, so you can see the first one here, the first square, and then there is another square on the other side, with one side in common, the green bead in here is, is the side in common. It will be a a little bit different tutorial from the others of mine because I've decided to take some pictures because I think that for this kind of beadwork it will be easier to watch the pictures but there will be also my explanation by words so I hope and I think that everything will be clear. Of course this basic pattern with two rows is the one that I've used for many of my last creations for the Ankh, for the star, for the Celtic knot so you can use this pattern maybe using only one color of beads to create all the other things that I, have, that I have done. But if you need more information, you know there is my cubic right angle weave tutorial that you can watch. I published it I think a few weeks ago and it is a more complex tutorial where you can see how to create an open shape and how to close an open shape in itself. Okay, so if you need some more specific instructions about the cubic right angle weave technique, I suggest you to watch the other tutorial of mine. So for now that's all, I hope you will enjoy the tutorial, thank you for watching and see you soon on the next video, bye bye! To create this pattern you will need some needles, size 10 or 12, and you will need a bit weaving thread, choose the one you prefer. Then you will need size 15 seed beads and size 11 seed beads in the same color. This color is by Miyuki 2006. Then you will also need two different colors of size 15 seed beads and size 11 seed beads. These two kind of seed beads are by Toko. This color is 1, 2, 3 and the green color is 407. Pick up four size 11 seed beads and carry the beads to the end of the thread. Then sew through the first seed bead to close the working around. Pick up three more size 11 and sew through the same bead you were starting from. So now you have these two squares with one side in common and with the thread you have to go outside from the central bead. Now in this picture you can see that I am working on a bigger beadwork. I've made this choice because I think that in this way it will be easier for you to watch and it will be easier for me to explain all the steps. But as you can see we are starting from the same situation we have at the beginning. Two squares with one side in common and these squares are composed, are made of size 11 seed beads, bronze size 11 seed beads. I'm going outside the bead in the middle. Then pick up this sequence composed by three size 11 seed beads, one green, one bronze, one green, and sew through the same bead you were starting from. Then without adding any new bead, sew through the next bronze seed bead. Pick up two size 11, one green and one bronze seed bead and sew through the green seed bead and the bronze seed bead on the beadwork. Pick up one size 15 and sew through the next bronze seed bead on the side. Pick up two more size 11 bronze seed beads and sew through these two seed beads, these two bronze seed beads on the beadwork. Now pick up one size 15 and as you can see, sew through the next bronze seed bead and sew also through the next green seed bead. Pick up one green size 11 seed bead and sew through the next two bronze seed beads. Now pick up one bronze size 15 and sew through the next size 11. Again, pick up one green seed bead and one bronze seed bead and sew through the green and the bronze seed beads on the beadwork. Pick up one size 15 and sew through the next bronze seed bead. Again, we are on the side, so pick up two bronze seed beads and sew through the two bronze seed beads on the beadwork. Pick up one size 15 and sew through the next two beads, the bronze seed bead and the green seed bead. Pick up the last seed bead of the round, a green seed bead, and then sew through the next two bronze seed beads. Pick up the last size 15 seed bead and sew through the next two bronze seed beads. Now sew also through the green seed bead on the top and the bronze seed bead in the middle. 
So now we are ready to start another round. Again, I pick up the same sequence one green seed bead, one brown seed bead and one green seed bead and I sew through the same bead I was starting from, the bead in the middle. Then I sew through the next seed bead, a green seed bead. I pick up two more brown seed beads and I sew through the two green seed beads on the beadwork. Now I pick up one side 15 and I sew through the next brown seed bead. I pick up two more size 11 bronze seed beads and I sew through the two seed beads on the beadwork. I pick up one size 15 and I sew through the next two green seed beads on the beadwork. Then I pick up one size 11 bronze seed bead and I sew through the next two seed beads on the beadwork. A bronze seed bead first and then a green seed bead. At this point I pick up a cream size 15 seed bead and I sew through the next green seed bead. Then I pick up two brown seed beads and I sew through the two green seed beads on the beadwork. Now it's time to pick up a size 15 seed bead and then you have to sew through the next brown seed bead on the beadwork, a size 11 brown seed bead. Then pick up two more brown seed beads and sew through the two brown seed beads on the beadwork. Again we are on the corner, so pick up a size 15 and sew through the next two green seed beads. Now pick up a one brown seed bead, size 11 seed bead, and sew through the next brown seed bead and the green seed bead. Last step of the round, pick up a cream seed bead, size 15 seed bead, and sew through the next two seed beads, a green seed bead and a brown seed bead. To be ready to start another round, sew through the brown seed bead on the top and the brown seed bead on the middle. And now, as you can see, we are at the starting point. So, to go on, we have to repeat the sequence from the beginning. I hope that every step, all the explanation, all the pictures were very clear. Thank you for watching, inspire yourself and see you soon on the next video. Bye bye!